Park and I am the winner of the RSV's Nancy Rothwell Award for the 7 to 11 category for my specimen drawing of a hummingbird. What inspired me the most to draw the hummingbird is the fact that they are such fascinating animals. Although they are only 5 to 14 centimeters long, their heart beats 1,260 times per minute. That is why I believe that even though hummingbirds are tiny and minuscule animals, they are powerful and are the most fascinating animals. I like drawing and painting because there is no fixed answer to them. No one can say that something is right or wrong or that something is not right. Because that is the nature of art and drawing, I got my inspiration of drawing from my aunt because she is very talented and creative in the field of art. I also look up to and revere Eva Armisen because her drawings are so unique and free-spirited. I enjoy the coloring part of the creative process because color tells a whole new story by itself. I think that coloring and adding color to art makes it one level higher and it adds emotions, thought, and messages through a piece of artwork. Hi, my name's Tim Pond and over the past few years it's been a privilege of mine to be on the panel of judges of the Nancy Rothwell Award. Uh, the Nancy Rothwell Award is an opportunity for young people between 7 to 18 to take part in a competition uh, which we can display their scientific investigations combined with artistic skill. The great thing about both science and art is they allow people to explore uh, their curiosities. And then I think the winner which is this one, which is by um, Yoon Park, um, and it's got lots of information um, about these incredible birds, these incredible adaptations um, of hummingbirds. I didn't realise that the hand was quite so, so long. Um, this is where the primaries attach. So obviously it's got a lot more, a lot wider primaries up here, and then quite a short attachment of secondaries, which will apply down here. Looking here, and an in-depth close-up of the iridescence on the neck, so as the angle of your viewpoint changes, so the colour on the throat will change to attract mates, I presume. Looking at the flower and the shape of the bee, have adapt, adapt, some of them have adapted for specific flowers alone over a sort of 22 million year evolutionary period. And the very light bone of birds here lift up noted here that you can have this very porous bone with air pockets in it so it enables uh, the bird to fly. Thank you uh, and it's been a really enjoyable experience and congratulations to all the winners.